One of the main priorities of metal is its ability to conduct and transfer heat. Heat transfer is a physical process of conveying heat energy from a hotter body to a cooler one. Heat can be conveyed directly or through a barrier made of some material. If transmitted spontaneously, heat is always conveyed from a hotter body to a cooler one. The process of heat transfer cannot be stopped. We can only slow it down. In real life, we often have to deal with this property of metal. There can be many examples. A hot electric stove, where heat is transferred through the walls of aluminium and steel pans to boil in food. Hot, but more often barely warm, steam radiators. Electric heaters with double metal heat accumulators. These have the cold radiators in winter. Electric soldering irons, whose beads indiscriminately melt lead and tin using all their power. And of course, the great variety of metal heat sinks in radio electronics. These are used to remove heat from microcircuits and transistors. They work day and night at excess voltages to save the latter from overheating. We can add some useful information to the last thing mentioned. Working capacity of various output microcircuits and transistors in radio electronics depends on how quickly heat is removed from their bodies, as well as from their substrates and pads. The material of heat sink depends on the durability and overall lifetime of the microcircuit or transistor. Copper heat sinks are especially popular. However, you will only find few of them in electronics. These are used only by high-end manufacturers, for instance by Panasonic. In other cases, they are too expensive. Aluminium is used much more often. It is much cheaper than copper. Its conductivity is 1.5 times lower. It ranges from 202 to 236 Watt per meter. This is why they are used everywhere. The area of aluminium heat sinks is two times larger. To achieve it, industrial engineers create all sorts of cuts, holes and needles on their surface. There is a wide choice of heat sinks. Anyone interested in self-made electronics can calculate their area. Besides, we have already spoken about it before. Sometimes forced ventilation helps remove excess heat from the metal. The metal is hot, there inside the casing is at the same temperature, like for instance in the PC. I think you understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes car owners are surprised because a microcircuit in an audio system has worn out permanently. There is only one reason for this. The metal heat sink did not manage to remove the heat from the microcircuit. This is because some people turn on their heaters in summer. We won't mention what happens in winter. The heat doesn't only concentrate under the casing. There is also heat coming from without. We have only one advice. Adjust the fan so that it blows away the heat accumulating on the radiator adjacent to the wall of the audio system. We already tried it. And it works.